Today I'll be showing you how to track the value of Bitcoin using Quicken. So say you have a Bitcoin wallet or Bitcoin account somewhere and you want to use Quicken to keep your value of that account updated. So you can do that. So first we need to create an investment account that we can use as our Bitcoin wallet. We just click add new account and then choose brokerage and then we'll just click advanced setup and I want to enter my transactions manually. Then give it a name. I'll just call it Bitcoin Wallet and click Next. And then here you'll put the date that you purchased your first Bitcoin in that account or in that wallet. So we'll just say June 1st and we'll say $2,000. Keep it nice and even. Next. And then we can just skip this part. We don't need to add anything right now. Next and say yes. And then done. And then finish. So now we have something called Bitcoin Wallet showing up in our accounts list. So now we need to go in and enter the transaction that we used to buy the Bitcoin. So we'll just say June 1st again and bought. And the first time you enter this security, it's going to try and find it. And what we want to use is called NYXBT. And then hit enter. And Quicken will search for that. And it found it here, the New York Stock Exchange Bitcoin Index. That is what we want. Click Next and Quicken will go download the current price for that security or for that index. And then Done. So now Quicken has that in the system. So now you can enter Bot, go to the next, the security, and it will pop up there, the New York Stock Exchange Bitcoin Index. And we'll just say we bought one share for $2,000. If you want to put in the commission or fee that you paid, go ahead and do that based on, on whatever you did in your account. And then hit enter. And there it is. So now it shows the total value of that Bitcoin wallet. And that's how you keep track of your shares of Bitcoin using Quicken.